so let me quickly show you what it is exactly so this is the screen how it looks like which is a microsoft loop.com now we'll quickly beginner. start with the be beginner steps which is chrome i will open a chrome over here you can open a edge as well that's completely fine and then we'll type loop.microsoft.com and this is the screen which is your initial screen when you are starting with your workspace this is the loop when we click on this right it gets refreshed if in case any new updates in the loops we get the notification over here if somebody tagged you in the loop then this is the notification bell you will get to know that you know so on so person have tagged you and these are the activities are left under your name so you can see that whatever time zone you are in right now so this is that you will get the message over here cool for creating a new workspace you need to click over here which is create a new workspace you will create over here and then if you could see over here setting option which is setting help and feedback download a mobile app if in case you want to download a mobile app android or maybe ios you can do that simply just click on the download and you will get that app this is your account which is you already signed in and then this is the workspace which recent workspaces you can see it you might be see this a blank because you haven't created any kind of a you know, workspace however by default may be getting started workspace already by microsoft office 365 suppose i click here okay you the by default created by office 365 which is giving an you know, overall idea about what it is exactly the microsoft look cool check the basics page basics get inspired send feedback so on and so forth cool i'll just again click on the back button and then here so training which i have created again for my project planning to showcase you guys so that's what it is available and then recent components and pages if in case you have created any kind of an a pages then you can see the recent components and pages right or maybe if in case anyone is visited already that particular component you can see that as well over here meeting notes suppose you are using a copilot which is your again generative ai then this meeting notes will be auto generated for that for copilot subscription is needed okay that will discuss at the later on the part ideas if in case you need a ideas to create a new loop component you can click over here and then simply you can start cool so this is it for this video next we will dive into create a new workspace